uh, option uh, one is you let me keep it until I can figure it out. And if I get an order, a sizable order, I'm thinking of going to China, at which case I would actually take these modules with me and see if we could uh, get that working. Uh, what I did wrong or assumed wrong <laughs> is that why is it I was able to do two different units? And then it was explained to me in here in Illinois, because I took this with me as well, is that these ICs here must be the same. And then when we checked, even though the whole contraption looked different, my old ICs and my new ICs that were compatible work. Your ICs are of a different number. Doesn't mean I give up. <laughs> Honestly, this has become more of an obsession now. Uh, so here are the options. A, uh, you hang with me until we figure it out. Or B, uh, I ship you back uh, everything. Box, thanks for your patience. Put it all back together the way it was. Send you back your 375. Pay for shipping back. And I'll pay you for the shipping you sent us. So you'll have almost 500 bucks coming back your way. Uh, otherwise, I'll keep working on it. Honestly, I want to figure out a way to make all of them work. So this challenge is accepted by me, <laughs> but you got to decide. So you let me know, A, I apologize. B, I would like to buy some more time to make it work. And, uh, you know, all this stuff that happened, I just explained it to you, has held me back as well as our sign has been extremely well received and I've been dragging it to all kinds of places. I'll give you more update on that. For now, over and out, thank you very much. Please respond to this video with what would you like me to do. If you haven't noticed, I've actually brought this from the shop and I've set it up at home. I work on it sometimes till 2, 3 in the morning at my desk at home. And... Uh, just because, like I said, it become an obsession. Okay, Paul. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is Amid. And uh, I usually believe that honesty is the best policy. So I'm going to share with you where I'm at and how far I've got so far. I'm actually below zero, and I'll explain why. Um, I had a Microsoft operating system on this drive, and it was mine. It's a Vista. And I moved it from a machine to a machine. And I never connected to the internet, but every day it would come up with a tiny thing down here that says Windows is illegal. And I'm like, it's my copy and I don't feel like reauthorizing it. So anyway, all of my invention work is on that drive. And uh, I connected it the night before we left to, to make some connection between that machine and this machine, which is the one I'm working on, and Microsoft put this giant warning, warning, and I didn't read the whole thing. It was probably saying that they're going to do what they did, which the next time I went to open the drive, it's cooked. I'm an IT, IT guy, so, you know, we do a little elimination. We added a drive to this. No go. Now, when do I find this out? After driving eight hours to Heron, Illinois. So all my tools are on here. Uh, I'm below ground zero. So I'm going to give you two options. Option one is I'm going to rebuild this and get my tools working again. And uh, frankly, I'm thinking if I get a good size order soon, I would like to... Uh, uh, here, I'm rebuilding the Vista here and we're having issues. I would like to go to China and perhaps take your piece with me. And finally, uh, my trip out to uh, Heron, we worked on this from midnight to, okay, stop.